Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we're gonna make some meatballs. I started a new job and I'm in training. And this the, the job, it, though it's not hard, um, the training is mentally challenging. I'm gonna drive a bus. And in order to pass the state inspection, there are so many things that I have to remember. There's so much knowledge and sometimes I don't wanna cook. I don't feel like cooking. And then there's other times where I'm working until 7:30, 8 o'clock at night because of the schedules. I have to train at night that I get home and we're kind of getting into a really bad habit of going up to the local party store. They've got really good food, fish and chips, ribs, wings, you name it, they've got it. And we're way out in the country. And so our local, our closest fast food places are like 15 to 20 minutes away. And so I'm going to start trying to make some freezer meals, some crock pot meals in the summer because I can't bake in the summer. We don't have air and it gets hot. We spend a lot of time out in the garden. So I'm going to spend some time really researching and looking into some freezer meals. And so one really good one to get started are meatballs. So I'm going to do a double batch of meatballs, one with onion, one without. Hunter does not like onion. And these meatballs are versatile. Um, you can make spaghetti and meatballs, barbecue meatballs, sweet and sour meatballs. You can do a cream sauce, a gravy over rice, meatball subs. And tonight, I think just for ease, I know I like to make my own sauces, but I'm pretty sure I have a bottle of sweet and sour sauce. So the recipe calls for one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. I have ground sausage from the farm. This is the meat that we picked up. Um, there's a video that I posted of us. We like to buy our meat in bulk. And half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now, okay, I'm trying to get healthy here. And when I saw the ingredients, look at this. This is just for breadcrumbs, and that's scary. I make bread, so I'm going to start making my own breadcrumbs. But this is what I have today. Ugh. Well, the stuff in our food, I'm telling you. Um, half a cup of milk, a quarter cup of diced onion. Um, I'm gonna put some fresh garlic in it. It does call for powdered garlic. I'm gonna put some fresh garlic. I have, I have a lot of garlic I have to use up. And I didn't have any Italian seasoning. I just made up my own. It's really easy. Um, you just need rosemary, basil, thyme, marjoram, and oregano. I had everything, but for ease, I just kind of mixed it together. Uh, what else? Uh, one egg. We need some eggs. We have an abundance of eggs right now. A tablespoon of parsley. We've got some parsley here. I can't wait for my garden. We're going to grow some parsley this year. A quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. A teaspoon of pepper and some salt. I like pink salt. I use pink salt. I order it in bulk. I store everything in these mason jars. I order a pound at a time and they usually fit depending on what it is. So the instructions are so easy. You preheat your oven to 400. You line your, your trays with parchment paper. We're not going to have grease splattering all over us. We're just going to throw them in the oven for, it's like 18 to 20 minutes. It's not a long time. Um, we're going to mix all of the ingredients to, together, combine them, but do not over mix. We're just going to mix them until they're combined so they don't get tough. Okay, now I'm going to give them a really, really good mix, but I'm not going to overcombine them. Okay, 
I like to use my cookie scoop for this. That way they're more uniform in size and they will cook more evenly. I don't roll them out individually at first. I'll just scoop them out, put them on the sheet. If you don't have a cookie scoop, that's okay. This looks to me like it's about one and a half to two tablespoons. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. Obviously, if you make them bigger, you'll have to bake them a little longer, but it's all up to you, it's preference. You know, if you like them spicy, you can add some, um, some spice to it, red pepper flakes, um, whatever you like. You know, meatballs are pretty versatile as long as you have binders in them. We gotta have some bread, egg. So we could get 28 meatballs, and this is my smaller pan. I have a larger pan, so 28 meatballs on one pan. That's pretty good. We're gonna put them in for 15 minutes. I'm gonna set the Alexa and take a look at them. I think they need about 20 minutes, but I wanna give them a flip because they can get pretty dark on the underside. And so while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and roll up the rest. I'm curious to find out how many meatballs we got for that one batch. We got 36 meatballs from the very first batch. That was the onion batch. And I was kind of figuring if each meal was 24 meatballs, that's three meals. So we're going to use one tonight, and I'm going to be able to have two more meals in the freezer that the mic can pull out on a night. Maybe I've got to work late. Maybe we're out in the garden on a Saturday and we don't feel like cooking. We'll just pull these meatballs out and we've got two extra meals in the freezer. The batch without the onions, we got 32 meatballs. So the batch with the onions, we got 36. But still a really good amount of meatballs. Still three meals. Oh, there's Alexa. Take a look at the underside of them. Oh, they're not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. The last time I made them, they got really dark. They're smelling fantastic. Back into the oven for four more minutes. Okay, it went about 19 minutes. Oh man, if you could smell these. Oh, they smell so good. I'm gonna cut into one that looks the largest just to see if we're done and I need to taste it. These are done. Oh man. Oh, the spices smell just so good. So they're already disappearing. <laughs> mm. I don't know if we're going to have uh, enough <laughs> for extra meals because they are that good. They're, my, as Mike would call, they're Moorish. All right, second batch. Let's see how these turned out. Oh, it smells so heavenly. Now you could, you could probably even omit the Italian seasonings and just do basil, basil or just oregano, just thyme. I've seen some recipes that look more like meatloaf with like Worcestershire sauce. So these have been in a total of like 19 minutes. Looking good. They're nice and have a nice crust on the bottom. Let's see if they're done. 
Oh yeah, those are done. I mentioned in a previous video that we were getting our deep freezer and it came. So it's been freezing for a couple days. There's the other one we have, nice and small, but it's gonna be great for veggies, breads. Mike wants me to fill it up with fresh bread. <laughs> so I can, now I can load this up with uh, freezer meals. I just pulled these out of the freezer. I, I froze them on the cookie sheet so they wouldn't stick together. And I already have pulled some out for, I accidentally froze them. I meant to keep them out. They'll thaw quickly, but these are for dinner tonight. So I just labeled a couple freezer bags and I'll put them in the freezer. Okay, they're out of the freezer. Here we are. Doesn't look like we have very many left, but that's at least two meals. And I, and I actually have um, another meal in the freezer too, but like I said, Hunter, he doesn't like onions, so I wanted to make some with no onion for him. So I'm still debating what should we do for dinner. Mike's like, this. these are just way too good to put sauce on. So I'm thinking I might just do some white rice and some snow peas with some carrots. Maybe crack open the sweet and sour sauce, put a little bit of sauce on the veg. I don't know. I don't want it to be too dry with just rice and meatballs. So let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a total cheat meal. <laughs> Even though I did make meatballs, I threw on some rice, just some jasmine rice. I can make a sauce. I can make a teriyaki sauce. I can make pretty much any kind of sauce. You know, you just really need soy sauce, ginger, garlic, you know, lime. But we're going to cheat tonight. We've been working outside and I'm getting tired. So this is why we have our freezer meal. And then I just have some um, diced chestnuts and some sugar peas. And that's it. That's going to be a easy peasy meal tonight. I decided to throw a carrot in there. It's just for some color. I have a whole bag of carrots I need to go through and use up. I am gonna make a, I want to can of turkey and do some stock. So the rest of the carrots will go for that. Because I froze my meatballs, I'm just gently warming them in this pan. So these have been going for about five minutes. And I'm gonna throw in my sugar snap peas. And I'm also going to throw in my water chestnuts. Let that soften. Let the water kind of cook out of it. Evaporate. I don't want these to go mushy. So I'm only going to cook them for maybe five minutes. Okay, rice is done. I didn't, want, I didn't want to overdo these, so I turned the heat off. I'm just going to put like half in, just to flavor it. I don't want to put anything in, but... I've never been so hesitant before to put a sauce in. Mike didn't want me to sauce the meatballs, so... I was just going to heat the sauce up. That way there's a little flavor for the rice. I, didn't, I usually put onion in. I didn't do onion because there's onion in the meatballs and a lot of garlic and it really comes through. Let this heat up and we can eat. Here's our final product. I just put a little bit, maybe a little more than an uh, half of the sauce in with the veg. Like I said, Mike did not want me to sauce the meatballs. They'll probably really take away from the flavor of them. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have some dinner. What happened? Oh, did I sting you? Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I was just recording. It's not funny, but I was just recording another um, exit and Mike was just stung by a hornet. He brought a hornet in the house. <laughs> so um, anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, what did you just take? <laughs>
That kid can't quit eating meatballs. <laughs> hey, at least we know they're good. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Have a blessed Sunday, and I'll see you next time.